Wonder Woman. Hi guys, it's Dave in real life and welcome to this new uh, daily video. Yes, uh, as you can probably tell, this is a bit of a spoof little video and uh, yeah, it is about Bianca Belair. And uh, yeah, of course, I call her Wonder Woman. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with this video today. And uh, yeah, and give you the real reason why I think Bianca Belair is Wonder Woman. Uh, and, <laughs> and it's just quite simple, really. It's not anything personal. I don't mind Bianca Belair as a wrestler, as a person. I think she has done amazing since coming up to the main roster. I think she was really good in NXT, to be fair. But, and this is a big but, I feel that her booking has been too much. I feel that she's been overbooked. I mean, to a point where she's totally unbeatable in any stretch of the imagination. She's now, you know, literally having a near broken leg and still winning a title. I mean, come on, where's the realism in this? I feel like we're giving her too much. And this pretty much all stemmed from last year. I, I believe this is Extreme Rules from 2022. A match against Bailey in a ladder match. Uh, she'd already been in a match, grueling match with ladders. Then EO Sky and Dakota Kai came to ringside. She managed to find this imaginary strength from nowhere to pick up two wrestlers and carry them. I mean, I, I know that this woman's powerful. I know she's very athletic. She is the bestest, she's the strongest, the fittest, blah, blah, blah. The EST or WWE, I get all of that. But, come on, you've just had a ladder match with Bailey. You, you, surely to God, that takes some, some toll to pick two women up. Ah, oh, man, it was just ridiculous. I, I thought, no, I'm not into this. And the fact that she continuously feuded with ju uh, Judgment Day. Oh my god, even now I'm putting Bailey in Judgment Day. <laughs> with damage control, I mean to say. <clears throat> it just seemed like her job was just to bury this new faction before it even started. Uh, and that's a shame, really, because I think that damage control could have done some really big things. I mean, they are starting to do things, big things now. Obviously, EO Sky is your now uh, world female champion, which is fantastic. Uh, but, you know, this should have been a year ago. I feel like the uh, dominance that Damage Control should have had has not really been there. And it's all thanks to this woman, basically Bianca Belair, been sitting at the top of the tree. Uh, her promo's been quite eelish. Because I always feel that an eel is cocky. I felt that Bianca Belair's promos were overconfident to the point that she was cocky. I mean, I've talked about this a thousand times. I do like her though. I, I do like Bianca Belair and I really want to believe in her. Now, if she turned out to be an eel, which is a big massive rumour going around the wrestling world that WWE are looking at turning her into an eel. And that's one of the main reasons why I suppose that she had the title for a split second or at SummerSlam <clears throat> is so that they could do this uh, heel turn. Hopefully, because her cockiness in her promos would fit a heel. And I think that would come across better than what she's doing now. And don't get me wrong, she is a massive role model to young black, white, whatever females in the world who do look up to this uh, woman, woman as basically a massive role model to them. So, I mean, massive shout out for that, really. But I still think a character is way too cocky for what she's doing as a face. Uh, and yeah, I think an eel turn for Bianca Belair is a must right now. Uh, and it'll probably get me back interested in her as a character going forward. But yeah, obviously, going back to uh, like what happened at SummerSlam, we saw this clunk, this loud bang, and she's there rolling around. Obviously, it's a kayfabe injury. We didn't actually see the contact that she made with the ring steps, because I believe she didn't make any contact with them whatsoever. There's no footage. There's no 
camera angle what proves that she hurt herself it's come on to be we if you're going to do something like this at least have it planned so yeah and then she goes on to be a both able-bodied asker and charlotte which is just ridiculous i'm sorry but i'm just not buying into it so yeah i i, I was mad anybody who joined the live stream knew that i didn't like this that i was dead against it i just couldn't see why they put the title on bianca belair at all obviously it, it, it has WWE did put the title on just so that they could replicate what happened a year ago so that this was a year anniversary of the debut of da Damage Control so it did kind of make sense but I just didn't like how they did it I mean it's to the point where Bianca lost because she had a damaged leg it made the even it, they always do this so that you know the new champ looks weak before they even start their reign because they've had to be beat somebody what's already beaten down so yeah I did, that annoys me a little bit but i do get it because it's always happened that way but still why did it have to be a bianca belair why couldn't she have just pinned Asuka and have done with it do you know what i mean why did we have to put the title on bianca belair for a, a, all of a couple of minutes for the sake of something that happened a year ago it, it made no sense to me to be fair so yeah that is the it's just basically the character of bianca belair what i'm not quite getting on board with so yeah, if you're gonna throw eight in the chat, please uh, please consider that this is just a bit of fun. It is just a nickname that I've given her just because of what's happening in WWE. I actually do like Bianca Belair, and I do like uh, uh, I'd like her to be a heel. Uh, um, third and foremost, if she turns a heel, then I'm in. I will. I'd love the character, but at this moment in time, as a face, I just no, nah, it's just not for me. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is a bit of a fun little video. Obviously, take it with a grain of salt. I am having a laugh. Uh, I absolutely, like I said before, I absolutely love Bianca Belair. So uh, take it as you will. Anyway, I've been Dave in real life. You guys have been awesome. And remember that Wonder Woman is <laughs> just me prattling around. Anyway, bye for now.